Okay guys, so today I'm going to do a review of the Sim2 Moment drone, the selfie drone, and comes in this nice case. Uh, not much else comes in the box. You get the drone, uh, user guide, battery, uh, and the rest of the box came with a charger, an AC adapter, and a USB cord, actually a USB Type-C cord. That's for charging the battery, but not a whole lot else. So I'm going to do this review a little bit different here. Uh, I didn't really take a look at the manual too much. It's pretty small. Um, I'm going to try and do this review from the perspective of a newbie. Uh, somebody that, actually this is probably, you know, targeted to people that don't know anything about drones. They just want to fly, take a, some close aerials, some close photos, and uh, land it safely. Uh, so hopefully this app will let you do that. Um, only thing I did was I charged the battery, and that's fully charged, and then I downloaded the app. Um, you can get that at the Google Play Store or the App Store on Apple. And that was, uh, there's links in the, or a QR code in the manual, you can get that, it's pretty easy. So install that, and then you connect to the uh, selfie drone via Wi-Fi. Okay, so we'll take the drone out and we'll just uh, plug in the battery. It just slides in. Oh, and by the way, uh, you do have to put an SD card in here first. A micro SD card, otherwise you can't do any recordings, it doesn't come with a micro SD card. We'll go ahead and slide this in. And it should lock in and then it just unfolds. So you got uh, these props inside um, these propeller cage here and it's very well protected. Uh, plastic here is kind of flexible, should take most impacts pretty well, it doesn't look like it's a, it's a cheap plastic. Uh, you got a 4K camera here in the front, and you got some sensors on the bottom. You got a looks like a IR sensor, optical flow sensor. So should you use the ground as reference. Also has GPS and a barometer for altitude hold. So uh, it's got all the uh, sensors for a typical drone. So we'll go ahead. And we'll use the case here as a nice little landing takeoff pad. And just a long press the power button here that's on the battery. That should turn it on. It quickly turns on. And you can see the camera is tilted down a little bit. That's probably for selfies, of course. So I'm gonna take it off with the camera facing away from me. Okay, so should we should be connected to the selfie drone by Wi-Fi. Uh, the app does have a user guide and you can read that if you'd like. Um, it does go over what all the buttons do. We probably need to do compass calibration, that kind of stuff, but I think I'm gonna try and figure it out on my own here. Let's see how that goes. Let's see here. Let's get to the end of this. And we'll connect and we should have video. Yep, we do. So can see we got a video here, got 14 satellites, 16 satellites, that's good, 98% battery. Uh, I think here, that's, that must be the takeoff button here to the left of the shutter. I think we're in photo mode here, so let me see if we take a photo. Yeah, it looks like I took a photo. Let me uh, turn my sounds up system sounds okay there we go right, the hiccup button there is for gimbal control you can control the gimbal uh, see here if I can show you this it's all the way down I think it's stabilizing I'm not sure if it's stabilizing or not let's raise it up you can see there so you press the button on the tap on the screen, you can lower and raise it. Start up pretty high like that first. And like that button here is for changing the video mode, so we'll start a video. And we got some red numbers in the middle of the screen showing the video is recording now. So let me stop that. I want to do a compass calibration first. Oh, we should do that. 
Let's see here. Disc calibration. So we have compass. And then please proceed with the calibration of the aircraft. So you have to rotate it clockwise horizontally and then head down vertically. So we'll start the calibration. And so let's put this down here. And I think we just follow the so it says calibrating horizontal surface. Okay, now we got to do the vertical. It'll prompt you on the screen. So it's doing it like this. And it looks like it's done. Compass has been calibrated successfully. And then let's calibrate the accelerometer. And it's calibrating. Accelerometer calibration is successful. Okay, we can exit that. And then this button here in the lower left should bring on the joystick controls. I'm going to fly with that. And this button here to the left of the shutter is the takeoff button, I believe. So I'm going to start the video recording. Go ahead and we'll take it off. And we need to ensure, see we've got space here. All right, let's go. Oh, not bad. Very stable. I'm gonna move it over here a little bit. Bring it down. You can see it's very stable. It's a little bit of breeze right now, so it's tilted over just a tiny bit. Some wind coming from this direction going that way. You can see it's, it's a compensating for the wind. And you can see I'm in the video there. Looks like it's working. Very, very stable. You can see I'm in the video there. So I'm gonna, let's fly it forward here. It's kind of jerky there. It, it does quick movements. Let's rotate it this way. Very, very slow in what it's doing right now. In terms of the rates, it's, it's quite slow, but 17 GPS satellites and all the sensors, it's very, very stable. I don't know if you can see that. I'm not sure if you can see that in the uh, camera view from my head, but it's not moving at all. Compared to some of the other selfie drones I've seen, this is much, much better. All right, let's fly this around a little bit. I'm uh, hitting the forward button and it is moving forward. See all this over here. I'm gonna look at the tennis courts. It's going backwards now for some reason. I'm not sure why. Bring it down so it doesn't go into the trees. It's drifting backwards. And I am hitting the forward button, so I'm not sure why it's doing that. It's still continuing to drift backwards. It was very stable, now it's not. Going backwards again. So I'm going to land it. I'm going to... Now it wants to go into the tree. It is now in the tree.
All right, I'm not sure what happened there. I'm gonna bring it down so it doesn't get stuck in the tree. I think the sensors are malfunctioning. Okay, we'll give that another try. And bring up the joysticks, take off one more time. There it goes. Again, it's drifting. Very slow to react here. You see the wind is pushing it. I think I got to go into a higher rate. This is sort of the beginner or low rate. Let me see here. Sensitivity setting. Let's go to the advanced. All right, yeah, that's much better. I have more control. It's too slow reacting to the wind. Now it seems to be fairly stable. Not sure why it was going backwards before, and now it's not doing that again. So we can uh, tilt the gimbal down if we want. Back up. Very still stationary. We will yaw it around. It's very fast now. Since I'm on the high rate. If I go down to the low rate again and yaw around, it's much slower. You can see because it's tilted over, it doesn't have an actual gimbal. The video is a little crooked. Okay. We're drifting again, so I'm going to go back into the high rate and let's fly it around a little bit here all right around let's see if I can get myself centered here there we go move it forward so you can see that it's tilted I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to have it go backwards and up. See if it'll do both. There we go. That's a, what a lot of people like to do, the sort of the zoom. Oh, I'm getting a weak Wi-Fi so then I'm better bring it back. Okay. 
Oh, I'm not sure what was going on with that glitch before, but it seems to be okay now. And maybe because I was near the trees and perhaps the GPS signal got disturbed. I have 19 satellites right now, so everything looks good. Just gonna fly it around a little bit. You can see here, with the wind coming from my right here, it's tilted over again. So, that shows up in the video because it doesn't have an actual uh, stabilizing gimbal. All right, let's take some, take some pictures here. It says I have no signal, but I can control it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stop the video. Let's take some photos. Not sure if I took a photo or not. Uh, power is low, 20% wants me to land. I'm going to have it land here. Okay. You can just grab it, you don't have to wait till um, it actually lands because you through prop guards, there's no real, no real danger of cutting your fingers or anything, so you can just grab it from the air. So that's a pretty good little test for the initial flight, but we were at 21% battery, so we'll have to end this demo. Okay, so interesting first flight of this guy. Uh, I, had, I had a problem, I'm not sure exactly why it was drifting backwards, uh, but it didn't do that on the second flight and possibly that I uh, went out of GPS and into optical flow and maybe that wasn't working that well. Not 100% sure, but uh, the second flight went pretty well. I was able to control it using the higher rates. I think you gotta go higher rates, especially in any kind of wind. It does drift around a little bit, even with the GPS lock, so something to keep in mind. But fairly easy to use. Intu in the interface is intuitive. The interface did crash on me one time, but the drone just stood there and I was able to reconnect to it. So. Uh, that's not that's not a big deal. Videos seem pretty good. We'll have to see. I mean, it's a nice sunny day. Uh, let's see what the photos and video look like. I don't think the range is all that good. I took it maybe 25 meters away, and I got a weak Wi-Fi signal error or warning. So um, we'll have to something to keep in mind there. Uh, but you know, this is a selfie drone. It's meant for taking videos and photos at close range, but you can take some aerials, um, can get, you know, I probably got about 10-15 meters high up, and you know, if you have a nice sunny day like today, the video should be pretty good. Might take this to the beach or something and see what that video looks like for a future video, so. And this is like version 1 or 1.1 of the software, so they might be working on uh, fixes or bugs, I'm not sure. That glitch was obviously a bug of some sort. So that's, if you're concerned about that, I would wait and see uh, what other reviews look like before you buy it. But um, you know, I'm thinking that's probably something that's not going to happen on a regular basis. Anyway guys, that's going to do it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions about this and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.